Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 9.07 in the morning. It's Wednesday. First order is going to be some Dunkin' Donuts. This one's for 10 bucks for like, I don't know, five point something miles. Let's get it. Dunkin' Donuts is a hand to customer, so that's what I got paid for handing this customer their Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Got to pick up 100 live crickets for this one. $10 for 100 items. When it popped up, I was like, oh my God, 100 items. But it's just crickets. All the little small ones, so it should be simple. Pet smart crickets at the door. Thank you. Albertson Shop and Pay. Like some breakfast food, some uh, you know, whatever that is, some of this stuff, one of those, that thing. Let me get some of that and then that also right there. This is gonna pay I think like nine dollars for this shop and pay. Hopefully I can get stuck in this queue today and do a bunch of these shop and pays to stay out of that heat. Yesterday it was 114 something degrees. It's only hundred degrees right now. This is a hand to me customer, so at the top right of your screen, that's how much I got paid for dropping this order off. Not too shabby. Ooh, it's getting hot. Got a Chipotle banger right now. $17 plus. Oh, you got a new uh, ice cream place installed right here next to the Chipotle. I'm going to soup this one up. We'll see how much we get paid on this drop off. Oh, yeah. Three big boxes of the catering. Chipotle catering. All right. Let's go get this all loaded up. And then we'll see how much uh, we get for dropping off this big boy. Let's get this bad boy unloaded real quick. It's going to a medical facility. So I'm going to go drop it off inside and then I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. See how much I got paid for all of this. Finished out that order and bam, got paid $28 on that. Nice. It's a good banger. It's a good little boost for the day. Let's continue it on. Starbucks is our next victim here. So I'll go swoop this one up. I think it said $8.50 for like 3.6 miles. So it's a pretty good one. Pretty quick, easy one. All right. Enjoy your Starbucks. Thank you. Let's grab Einstein bagels real quick here for a 650 plus. We got to hand this to the customer and this is what I got paid for dropping off. It went from 650 to that amount. I'm hoping possibly 775, maybe eight dollars. Sweet. Lulu Hawaiian barbecue. This one's an odd one. It's 1.4 miles for an $11 plus and that's kind of odd to see a plus that close to a store. I looked at it, it's a big family meal, like a four to six people family dinner is what it said. So it's only one item, but you know, probably a large item. I'll see what I get once I drop off the final. Let's get this unloaded at the door. And if you just take a peek at the top right of your screen, that was the finalization I got for closing out this order. Not too bad. Subway's next. This one's a uh, $7. Let's swoop this one real quick. That Subway was a weird drop off. He wanted me to leave it in front of his Cadillac at his garage door, but his garage is like his Cadillac is not parked in his garage. It's parked like, I don't know, 200 feet from it. Just weird. Just like leave the food in the middle of his driveway out in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Weird one right there. Seven bucks. Pizza slut is the next order. This is four personal pan pizzas. I think I can just fit them in the regular red bag here. Hand it to him. This should be a quick, easy hand it to him order. Brew house, BJ's brew house takeout. I'm gonna grab this one. This one's not bad. It's uh, like six miles for fourteen dollars, so it's a it's a nice payment for six bu for six miles. Enjoy your order from BJ's Brew House. Thank you. Albertson Shop and Pay. So we got to get seven items here for nine fifty. Not too bad. Do have to drop it off in an apartment complex, but I use the app Beans, so I'm not confused when I go to apartments. It's just like going to a house front door. Albertson's order going to the customer's door to leave at the door. I don't have three hands, so I can't do this all in one take. That's what I got for dropping off this order. Should be back, I think, 9.50. It's time to get some teriyaki madness. No, not for me. This is another pickup right here. This one's going to be a 10.50 plus. Don't know exactly how, much, how big the meal is. We'll see what it comes out to after I drop it off. Teriyaki madness, leave at the door. All righty. Contactless delivery, just leave at my door. Thank you. Where's the ding dong at? There it is. Ding dong. After that delivery, it is lunchtime for me. It's about three o'clock right now, like 250 or so. I'm sitting at $137, which is not too bad. Call it $140 and I'm gonna go on a lunch break here. So I'm gonna eat some Raisin Cane's. That's where I've parked out right now. Grub up on a big three finger chicken sandwich is what I'm gonna get. And then after I'm done with that, shoot right back out here and then we'll shoot for that $200 goal that I typically go for and possibly go over it for tonight on this Wednesday. All right, let's get it. Turn the app back on. Didn't even leave the parking lot and just got a shop and pay. You can see, look, it's only 311. I only went on like a, maybe a 20 minute session of eating right there. And let's gonna shoot over to Albertsons right now. $21 banger for 13, you know, three, five, five, 
13 different items here for 21 bucks. <laughs> nice banger. Let's go collect this one. Pretty easy offer here, not very much stuff. I wasn't able to grab two things. One was a, a thing of some bread, and it was like a sourdough bread. They just didn't have the kind of brand. And another thing was um, drumsticks. Not like drumsticks for playing drums, but you know the ice cream drumsticks with all the little nuts on top? Yeah, they didn't have those either. Let's go get this unloaded, and that's what I got for dropping off this order. Not bad. Oh, it's 110 degrees out here right now. PetSmart banger, what is it, 355? This is 925 for one item. I'm guessing it's just a big bag of dog food. Let's see once I get in there. Found it. I knew it, one bag of dog food. 12 pounds of dog food, pretty easy one here. All right, let's go get paid. All right, doggy food at the door for you, thank you back to Albertsons for a shop and pay. This one is $20.50 and it is a higher count of items. It's 26 items. That's okay. Let's get it. it. Took me 20 minutes to grab all these items. It wasn't too bad because a bunch of it was in the cereal aisle. A bunch of it was ice cream. A bunch of it was just like juices and drinks. So it was very easy actually to find. And the only hard stuff was actually probably the potatoes and the bananas was the produce and finding the apple slices. Other than that, pretty easy peasy. Let's go drop this off for 20 bucks. It's a brand new neighborhood right here that I'm delivering in. And yeah, it looks like a mess right now, right? Well, let's get this all unloaded real quick. Just like that, got $20.50, you. Yeah. After that Albertson shop and pay, that throws me at about $190. I think it's 187 right now or 188 and some change. We gotta pick up Cafe Rio next and it is only 4.57, let's call it 5 p.m. and I'm almost at that $200 mark. This one's an $11 plus, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna throw me over 200 bucks or right at the $200 line. So not too bad for a Wednesday so far. The customer just met me outside for that Cafe Rio order, which I got $14 for, so nice. It went from 11 to 14. I'm going to add up all my totals real quick here because I believe I'm over $200 for the day and it's only, what time does it say right there? Uh, 523 so that's not too bad we started at 9 o'clock today it's 523 you call that um eight hours right 9 10 11 12 to 5 yeah so eight hours of time I did go on a break for about 20 minutes or so 25 minutes at um what did I have Raisin Cane's earlier today so seven and a half hours of dash time 200 bucks let me add it all up real quick I'm gonna pull away from the front of this person's house though as I do that $202.18 is what the finalization is from starting at 9 o'clock till about 5, what was it, 532, 522 or something like that, 523. Go ahead and throw up the totals for the end of the day right there. Two shifts that I broke it down, and yeah, not too bad. I could push a little bit further or harder today, but I have a goal for tomorrow, Thursday, and I'm thinking of a uh, 300 Thursday, so possibly we can hit that $300 goal tomorrow on Thursday. I don't think I've hit $300 on a Thursday before. I probably have, but not recently in the last few weeks or months that I can remember. So we're gonna push hard for tomorrow. We're gonna get out there earlier than uh, 9 a.m. and we're gonna try for a bigger goal. Um, tentatively, the goal is still, you know, $200, just in case the day doesn't go as positively as we want it to. But if the day is on fire and it's going well, we'll go ahead and push for a long day tomorrow and definitely try and hit that $300 bag. I'm happy with the $202 today and it only being 5.30. I'm gonna go get some more food after I make this video because it'll take me about an hour or so to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are out there hustling it. I hope you guys are making your money and I will see you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves and peace out.